So here we are back in the presentation and you can see that I've spent a little bit more time editing the topic covers. Uh, we've now got a picture of Central Park, um, your typical I love New York badge uh, and of course the Statue of Liberty uh, that you saw me add on one of the previous videos. So again just to mention I did all of that by simply clicking on one of these topics and going up to this area here topic cover settings. Uh, if you missed that, just go back to that video um, and all will be revealed there. What I wanna focus on now though is how to work with text and imagery. So what I'm going to do is zoom into one of these topics. Let's actually zoom into the Statue of Liberty area. And let's just add a bit more information here. So. Obviously, we don't want that to say about us. This is just the, the text that was left over from the original template we had. So in here, I'm going to say um, history. And then in this text box, I will paste in some text that I grabbed from the internet. So I'm just going to paste that text in. Obviously it's far too big at the moment. So to resize text, very simple, just drag down the corners. You don't need to hold the shift key as you're doing this. Uh, Prezi Next is really good at keeping everything to scale without you having to worry too much about that. You can also drag the sides of your text box in or out to just wrap the lines of text. And I think what I'll probably do is add another image just to the right hand side of the text here. And so to do that, we just go to the very top of the screen here and use the image button. Click on that. We saw that very briefly earlier on, but here I'm going to grab the Statue of Liberty PNG file. This is the same PNG file that I used when I was editing the cover uh, for this particular topic. I'm gonna drop that just here. It actually fits quite well next to that text. It doesn't have to be inside the circle. It can actually go anywhere you want it to, to go. Um, so having it creep slightly outside of the circle like that um, looks quite nice. Now that's a PNG file again. So that means that it has a transparent background. The other type of image that you can drop into Prezi is a simple JPEG file. Uh, there is no option for adding animated GIFs uh, or anything like that at all. It's uh, very simply just PNG and JPEG files that we can work with at the moment. When you're working with text, um, or images for that matter, as well as resizing them by dragging the corners, if you hold down the uh, control key on your keyboard and then just hover over the corner of the text box or the image box, you should see that the cursor changes into um, uh, some curved arrows and you can grab that and just curve things, uh, or sorry, rotate things as you want to. Now, you may not want to do that at all, which of course is absolutely fine. So let's just put that back where it was. When you have text selected as well, you will notice that the gray bar in the center of the screen here um, comes to life with lots of different text options. So of course we can change the color of our text. We can choose from the simple color picker here if we want to, or we can add a custom color at the bottom. And this is actually what's known as a hexadecimal color. So those colors are normally used um, on, uh, on websites and web design and things like that. So you should be able to grab that from your branding guidelines to make sure that the color of your text is in line with your own company's branding. There is of course an alignment tool to make sure that uh, your text is justified to the left, centered or to the right. There is the good old bullet point list button as well, um, which I would recommend everyone just stay away from, whether you're in Prezi or PowerPoint. We certainly don't need to be adding lots of bullet points uh, these days. Um, and as a little aside, actually, there is a free course on our website. Um, so in the same area that you're in at the moment, viewing this very course, there is also another course on how to completely avoid using bullet points, whether you're using Prezi, PowerPoint, or no matter what it is. Uh, the software is. So I'd recommend you to go and take a look at that course once you're done with this one. Um, you'll definitely find it very beneficial. 
Now, to change the font that you're using, uh, you can do that by just simply clicking on the drop down list here. Um, just like in Prezi Classic, there is a big list of fonts. Um, these have been added to quite a lot since the previous version of Prezi. Uh, but again, there is no way at the moment to add your own custom fonts into Prezi. If that is something that you absolutely have to have in place, then please contact myself on russell at thepresenter.com or any of our team here on info at thepresenter.com uh, and we can just advise you on how that uh, is possible. There are a couple of ways in which we can do that and help you set that up. On the left hand side, um, just, to, uh, just to the left of the list of fonts, there is some presets that we can choose from. So we have title, subtitle, body, subtitle two, and so on. Now you can just scroll between these. These have all been set up for the particular template that we started our Prezi design with. So you can just go through those and use those. But there is a really useful tip here. Um, if you want to change the style of body text throughout your entire presentation, what you can actually do is select body text from the menu here. Select the text that you're working with and let's just manually change it to a completely different front. Uh, let's just use say Allegrea for now. What we can then do is right click on that text and there is an option right at the very bottom of the screen here that says, uh, sorry, at the bottom of the list here that says update style preset. So if we select that now, we can then go back to the preset list of fonts and you'll see that the preset for body text has now changed. So what that means is any other body text anywhere in my presentation will now change to that font. The same would be true if I was to change the color of the font uh, or anything to do with that font at all. If we simply right click, choose update style preset, that will change for the entire presentation. So that's a useful little tip there in terms of getting your, uh, your branding into Prezi and making sure that it's there for the entire presentation as well. And I may touch on that a little bit more uh, as we go through other areas of the Prezi software. So as you can see, adding text and images is very simple. The biggest tip I would give you is to try and use PNG files where possible, because as you can see, that means that we have a nice transparent background um, and we don't have lots of white uh, rectangles uh, all over our presentation, kind of spoiling the, the design of everything. So that's all we're going to focus on for now with text and images. Uh, like I said, it's very, very simple part of the software. So I'll see you on the next video.